Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. So since upgrading to Leopard, have you checked out the dictionary? No, I haven't gotten around to it. I mean, I assume it's just the same dictionary that there was in Tiger. Well, the dictionary in Leopard's got a whole bunch of new features. It's a whole new app and it's actually pretty useful. Okay, sure. Why don't you show me? Okay, so here's the dictionary application. Uh, it looks pretty basic, just like it did before. Uh, you can type in a word and it will try to auto-complete it for you here and give you a list of uh, possibilities. It will also go ahead and suggest things that don't even match exactly the spelling that you're typing. So it can act as a good spelling lookup dictionary too. Uh, once you're in the definition you get a lot of information and you can click on something to get a definition of that. So you can just keep clicking on words and getting different definitions. Well okay, but defining words is what it did before. Does it do anything new? Yeah, you bet. Uh, you can go ahead for instance and switch over to thesaurus and you can look up thesaurus words for the same word you were looking at a dictionary word for. And then you can continue in thesaurus and click on one word in there and it will give you the thesaurus entry for that one which is very useful for looking things up. Another, another dictionary in there is the Apple Dictionary. Click on that and you can type in a term that's related to computing. Like for instance keychain and it will give, find you a definition for something like keychain access. Ah, so you could pretty much look up anything now. Well, if you really want to look up anything, you can simply switch to this next tab, which is Wikipedia. And it will look up whatever term you were looking at before in Wikipedia. So, for instance, here's the Wikipedia entry for keychain access. And it presents it very nicely. And then you can also go ahead and click on another word here, say like FTP servers, and it will load in the FTP server entry from Wikipedia. Yeah, but you know what I really love about dictionaries? You know, it's all that, that stuff in the front, you know, that teaches you about like language and pronunciation and it's like history of English, you know, all that stuff. Really? Yeah, really. Like, I love that stuff. Well, then, actually, the new dictionary can accommodate you. All you need to do is go back to the dictionary and you can go to the dictionary part of the dictionary app, go to Front Back Matter, which is a menu item under Go, and it takes you to all this front matter. You can look up all sorts of things like uh, language guides, uh, list of cliches, uh, history of English timeline, uh, Constitution of the U.S., chemical elements, just about anything. It's all there. Well, if it's got like a dictionary and a thesaurus and an Apple dictionary and Wikipedia, is there any way to add like new dictionaries to the dictionary application? Yes, actually there is. All you need to do is go into the dictionary preferences and there's already a few dictionaries in there like Japanese, Japanese English dictionary, and Japanese synonyms. So we can just click to add one. Another cool thing that the dictionary can do is you can actually use it in other applications. So for instance in mail you can control click on a word and look it up in the dictionary. Okay, so would it help me if say theoretically somebody would send me an email and there's a word in it I don't understand. Not that that ever happens. Could I easily look it up in the dictionary? Right, well here you go. Uh, here's mail and here's an email I got and you can just basically select the word, control click on it, and select look up in dictionary and it brings the word up. And you can use it in other applications as well like a text edit and all sorts of applications support this. Well, I had no idea the dictionary application did all this. Thanks for showing me. No problem. Hey, and if you've got a question, you can always email me at questions at macmost.com. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.